This uh, tsunami tragic event happened 2004, December the 26th. Uh, it was a full moon day. There were some people who gathered here in order to listen to uh, sermons uh, and participate some temple activities. Then they heard uh, people were uh, crying, making a lot of noise. And uh, so they went to uh, near the railway track, uh, which is nearby the temple. Then they uh, found the area was flooded and people were uh, crying and uh, running here and there. But he decided these people really needed a kind of uh, help and their, sit uh, their condition was very bad. Therefore, he made a de determination to help them whatever the possible way. One of the urgent need was providing water for them. Sea water came in. They could not find pure water. Uh, he invited them to come to the temple premises because temple, temple premises is in a higher land. Uh, so they all rushed to the temple. Uh, thousands of people rushed to the temple on that day um, with whatever belongings they managed to get. Venerable Dhammaratana, Mante Dhammaratana, uh, he also Im immediately responded from Singapore. And then he sent a lot of uh, uh, important items, food items and uh, health care items uh, to Sri Lanka, uh, airlifted uh, with the help of the Buddhist Research Society supporters and Buddhist library devotees. Uh, he also supported this project and also he started another project, very, very big project in Hambantota uh, for 150 families. So, so he is now already completed few of his houses. We decided to distribute houses regardless of uh, religions or race. Uh, our urgent support, that means urgently needed things, were delivered 
in Sri Lanka to Muslims and Tamils urgently because we uh, went to Trincomalee area. So majority are Muslims and uh, Tamils. We supported even our medical post, early medical post were conducted there. Then our second uh, visit was to southern Sri Lanka where Sinhalese are the majority. And uh, we have chosen Hambantota for our project. Hambantota is a, a mixed area. Sinhalese and Muslims stay there. So I have gone through list of uh, people who were receiving houses. Uh, almost 50 50 uh, Sinhalese and uh, Muslims are receiving 50% uh, Sinhalese and 50% uh, Muslims are receiving houses there. So if we wanted to do only for Sinhalese or Buddhist, uh, we wouldn't have chosen Hambantota area. Actually, most of affected areas are either Muslim areas or Christian areas. Christians live near the sea area because uh, many Christians uh, are involved with uh, fishing industry. So many victims are Christians. We visited them, we helped them. Uh, so there was no any discrimination. Huh? Now, gradually, people are getting back to life because uh, uh, if you see in the family uh, a pregnant lady, uh, that means the family has, uh, family has uh, uh, come closer uh, as they have uh, lived before the uh, tsunami uh, disaster after I mean tsunami everybody was shocked okay uh, she had had uh, five children four of them had been taken away by the tsunami and uh, the eldest this girl had been 23 and uh, he had been 17 and these two had been uh, 15 and Purikana Dhatuna and the smallest girl had been 13 so this boy had uh, she, he was the only brother for all these three sisters and he, he loved he had loved them very dearly and taken them on films for, to the beach and whatever the entertainment he could provide and he had been undergoing a masonry work training uh, subsequently to get a job uh, this girl was very clever in uh, her dancing and she was married and she had a child and these two had been very clever both in their dancing and other activities as well as their studies and all of them had been very good children. Uh, what happened was uh, they had been living in a place called Mirija Villa and they had been uh, taken to their mother's uh, sisters. All of them had gone to this eldest girl's house where she was married and living uh, to spend their school vacations. And at the time of the tsunami, all of them had been watching a video piece in their daughter's home. And suddenly the tsunami had come and uh, all the four children had been affected. Uh, but the, this daughter's son, uh, her son-in-law is a three-wheeler driver. So he had been in the three-wheeler and when the waves were coming he had the child the small child the daughter's child that means her grand granddaughter he had taken the girl and put her into a three-wheeler and come home that is how the the husband and the child were saved but they didn't know for three days what happened to them so after some time they went to the village to check on what happened to the children and none of them were alive at that time and in, in place of this daughter's house, there had been a boat. Even the house was not there, she said. She fell sick. I think, uh, according to what she says, uh, depression, mental depression uh, had taken in. So she had been taken to the hospital and had undergone treatment for depression and drugs had been given to her. And uh, she, after some time and with the help of the medication, she had uh, 
come back to her real life again. But even still, she says, it is very, very painful whenever she remembers the children. Uh, whenever she remembers them, she cannot do anything. Sort of, she, uh, it's very difficult for her to explain, she says. But uh, it, uh, even after such a long time, she says she still remembers them. And whenever she remembers them, it's very difficult for her. Anything else? So they must face to the, you know, reality. So these are the things that you can't, you know, completely avoid in, in the life. Uh, these things will happen. Uh, happiness and uh, unhappiness and the pains and uh, also, uh, you know, uh, f mm, uh, these sort of things. But uh, you must, uh, you, you, you must, uh, you know, face to this challenge. You must change uh, this uh, situation. So now when uh, people have been given houses and uh, furniture for that houses and their uh, children are now going back to school and the family is getting gradually uh, normal. Uh, actually, Singaporeans has done a great help. Uh, they provided a lot of urgently needed goods and other support to victims of tsunami. That was uh, very inspiring because I personally uh, experienced that, their enthusiasm. Um, but uh, if they wish to go further, they should be involved with um, some projects. Just giving uh, donations uh, is not so effective. It is very difficult for you to see whether your money really goes to uh, proper projects or not. Uh, there are unseen and unknown problems uh, in such places. Because now still my people are there, huh? my accommodation, everything is there. I don't want to leave over there. Now what are they mobilizing? Huh? By next week, yeah. By next week, you uh, can tell me the yeah. date. You will send me the money. Also. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, but and also the first few houses, number one, two, three, four, you go and check the door, the front door, because they have problem locking the door. Lock. Yeah, earlier locks. Earlier doors. Uh, the yeah, earlier, not the Singapore doors. doors. The Singapore doors are okay, but the earlier doors, yes, they have problem. Front lock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. The swinging yes. one there has a problem. I decided to go to negotiation table because in Sri Lanka, if a monk goes there it will be effective. And I knew my capacity. Uh, I can uh, talk to them directly. I can ask uh, questions directly from authorities. Thank you. 
I am Karani. I karma. I am Suffering is something which we cannot avoid or run away, but we can reduce it by helping people and making them feel. There are people uh, who are willing to give helping hand when we are in trouble or when we have difficulties. That can bring tremendous happiness to them. On the other hand, it brings happiness to us because when we experience uh, changes of their lives uh, and uh, happiness they experience as a result of our help.